Hello, this is a plank, and this is a plank-sized view of Roblox Entertainment's Orcs Must Die. Now, this FPS issue I've got on the menu is mostly because I'm rendering a video as we speak. It should be fine once we get in. Due to the menu actually being the most complex thing this game has to render. Anyway, let's take a quick look through control settings and so forth. The game is, let me just click on this a moment, the game is a power defense game with a few spins, you have traps, weapons, stop orcs getting here, healing if you're hurt you return to the rift, I never knew that, that's useful. Now I have played a bit of the game, not a lot, about, well I've done each of the levels in the demo just to get a brief idea of the game, but there's only three and they're about 5-10 minutes each, so that's not a lot. Orcs come through the door. Minimap rift points. Blah blah blah. If you die, you actually lose rift points. Yeah, it says that there. Coins, you get coins for killing stuff. All, all really simple. All really simple. Um. But yeah, this, this is not that difficult. Controls. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but computer games generally have their sort of control scheme rebindable. Now, this is one of the few games where you're stuck with one control setup. There's no way to rebind it and there's no other settings that you can pick. There's no like change to keyboard and mouse setup one, two, three, so on. There's just no settings. But that's made up by the ample and long list of graphics options one bar that goes left and right and changes next to nothing. Um, but the one interesting thing is this camera offset thing. For a third person game that's actually really useful. But I'm not going to show it off because I hate playing with right and left hurts. I just hate them. fail more so than I already do. Six for eight career kills, that's quite a nice little... I know, it's just nice to have that there I guess. Anyway. As you can see, this is how I've done. I got four on that one, and four on that one, and five on that one. Which is quite ironic, considering that's the hardest one of the three. But, yeah, each one I have myself and my top ten friends scoreboard. Um, I'm apparently better than those people, which I'll rub in their face later, and those three people are better than me, which I hope they won't notice. And the same thing over here. That he thrashed me on this one, even though I beat him before, and Bell's apparently good at this game. Well, enough of that. Anyway, three difficulty levels. Apprentice, if you're really bad. War Mage, if you're normal, and you've not finished the game yet, and Nightmare, if you've finished the game. Upgrade system! Yay, spend your stuff that you unlock by doing well to get even better, so you can do even more well. Sounds a lot like COD. Um... I've bought the extended arrow wall upgrade because that's the one thing that I use almost continuously. Extended arrow, longer range, always, always useful. Um, what else? Ah yeah, upgrades. Now considering you, you always have to take your crossbow and it's generally always a good idea to take your stabby stick thing. I don't actually see any upgrades for the crossbow or the stabby stick thing. Now either you unlock them later in the game or you don't unlock them. Either way I think there should be an upgrade path. For your hero so you don't have to just go into traps i mean if say you had multiple choices like you could not a talent tree or something like that but say you could either spend your skulls in upgrading your traps spend your skulls in upgrading the guardians you can get like the paladin and the archer which you see in the demo but you don't actually get to place they're basically npcs you can place which assist you and yourself and your own abilities and weapons I think that would add a lot more diversity and replayability because you'd play through the game in a completely different way three times as well as going back and improving upon the levels you've played and beat your score because each level you do you unlock a new trap or thing or something. So if you had trouble with this one then you unlock something from this one. Going back to doing this one would be very very easy. Well easier so you could get the full five skulls and then you could spend that on upgrades and so forth. We will do full way because I want to improve my score and it's the easiest one and the first one. And we get to see the autumn opening cinematic cutscene too. Which I will shut up and let you listen to as soon as it tells me to press any key.
I'm surprised they didn't bind the any key to something specific with this control setup. Like, you have to press shift at to do your any key. Let's press shift at. Shift at works for... Oh, shift at apparently opens my friends list. I've spent 300 years fighting for the order. I've killed thousands of orcs. Oh dear. And defended Sad. dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood, and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress nice falls to my apprentice. That's it then. The world is doomed. Yeah, excuse the lag on that. I it, it's, it's all up to me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things to get first. To, to Let's see what you left me in this spellbook. But here's one of those guardian days from that sense of the archer variety. And look, stereotypical elf archer 01. And we're just going to have to muddle through with a little bit of lag. Um, tick, 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 tick. What could I do with you? Well, it would make sense to have one of these here, wouldn't it, really, in all honesty? Actually, no, that's a very specific thing that I did there. I like this one. This'll I'll hurt. Slow them down as well, can I? <laughs> Let's do that, no. Use the board. Now, I wish there was a control crouch function, so I could crouch and actually improve my accuracy They're breaking so I don't have to wait as long. Just the passive so you don't have to wait as long would make this so much easier and more fun. Good you times, can good times. Stay back and actually have to be fired. Or you could get a lot of Spray down everything and die. The other weapon is the blade star. So you're up close and personal stabby stabby things by Reminds me of the Eldar, um, like, late star thing, like 40k. Pick up things, which I'll pick up a corpse. Ah. Right. Here's one of my favourite ways to kill an orc. In three easy steps. Step one, lift. Step two. Throw into acid. Rinse, repeat. Oh dear, the archer died. Uh, oh dear. I may actually have to take off the archer. La la la, all die, all die, all die. It's quite easy just to like strafe round them, left clicking, and they just die, really, in all honesty. It's not actually difficult. Either. But the thing is, it doesn't get harder as the ways get bigger, it just gets easier because you get more money to spend on traps. Like that, for example. Here, orky, orky, orky. That just reminded me of here's Johnny. Here's Orky! But maybe not. It just maybe not. Maybe That's just, gonna no. leave a mark. I agree, it will leave a mark. A particularly stabby one. Like that. The orcs actually make effort to run around the traps, which I think is quite cute considering they get funneled through a tar filled, shooky, shooky pit. I'm sorry, bud, but that's gonna hurt in the morning. I just want to kill this entire row of spikes traps. No! 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 Bad orc! Oh god. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can go to the rift to heal, can't you? Oh well, you get mana back as well. It's quite useful. Now actually picking your shots with the crossburn, just going for headshots is actually the most effective way to do it. But you can spam when they get close, it's just as effective. Also, your apprentice has awesome dance moves. As shown right there. Now, I'm going to take a look at one of the other levels. Oh wow, I actually improved my score, that's useful. Now we'll take a look at the other level that I didn't too do, do too well in, sorry. Oh, I hit continue, didn't I? Oh, looks like we're not having a look at the other level that I didn't do too well in. We'll look at the level that I got uh -huh. five stars in before. With the old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over, I can draw on the full power of the rift. I'll get a new toy to play with every time I defend a rift. A treat for you. Right there, that's a spot. Warning may cause death. I'm not sure which way around to put these. Um, if we slow them down. Here, just for you. Like that, and then put like catnip, but for orcs. Then th th they've got to die, haven't they? Really? I mean, honestly, they just have to die. I don't know which way they came in first. That's why I put my here they traps come. here. They're coming over here, right? Okay. Now again, we've got acid, so we can pick all this up and throw them in the acid. Like that, or not like that at all. Hang on. You actually get mana for killing them. Back to the arrows. Bitches. Alright, okay. Stabby, stabby, smalls. I am my friend to say I'm stabbing. La la la. Yogg's cast reference is Yogg's cast. I wish you could throw orcs into each other, that would just be awesome and create amazing rad doll effects. But I think it'd also be a bit overpowered. Oh, you didn't go in the pit. No. <laughs> Bird. Bye. Ow. That, that's gonna sting in the morning a little bit. Now this is a paladin guardian, they're sort of tanky and awesome. Is there anything in here that I can use? No. Like, paladin. No. Go up. No, no, no. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well done, Paladin. Come on. No, uh, yeah. Uh. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, that's just not working for me. Just die, okay? I like the way all the orcs look slightly different. Well, so, like that one's got metal, that one's got a bone shoulder blade, that one's got loads of bone, that one's got like, yeah. Either way, they all look dead to me. Well, now they do. Back to the arrows! But the first level is always the worst. It's always the most hectic, and fast, and dangerous, and the one where you take the most damage. You don't have as many traps or towers or, or wha whatever. Set it and forget it. Damn it! I want to sell that. Oh damn it! Oh well. I'm just gonna have to part with it, aren't we? Really? Spam. Spam's good. Everything's better than spam. But they take less damage, so I think maybe headshots is better. The 
Let's watch the Paladin in action, shall we? Once we kill these two, we'll see the Paladin in action. Oh, I didn't miss this time. No. Did some get through? Oi, just because some of your friends got through means that happens, bitch. I think that was quite mean, actually, what I just did to that one. Something for your face. Something for your face. It's called pain. Not for no This pain. won't hurt a bit. Because they mostly come from every single direction. We'll do that, because that's really, really, really nice. I mean, no matter where they come from. Last one to the rip is a few. Let's just try out the new traps. No matter, they all try to avoid them, so they're all guaranteed to walk into one. Glitched. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh. I found a graphical bug. Yay. Well, that's a plank's eye view on um, Orcs Must Die. I actually did worse that time somehow. I don't actually know how. But yeah, the game's great. The game's just great fun. I'll probably record more of it. I like the way there's different difficulties. There's a lot of playability with the scores and stuff. And it's just overall a very fun game. Thank you for watching. I'm almost at a thousand career kills. This has been The Plank. And this has been Orcs Must Die. And I believe I fulfilled the prophecy that the Orcs must die. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice there's a skull for the eye. Lol.